All right, in section 8.6, we're going to be using integration using tables. So the downloadable file that you have, this is where we're going to be using it quite often. So we're looking for our patterns and integrals so we can use given formulas to integrate. Um, looking at our tables, you'll notice in the table that they're broken up by the format. You'll see a lot of A plus BX, those, the, those types of things is what you're looking for in the tables. All right, so here we want to integrate x over 1 plus secant of x squared dx. What I'm looking for is something that says 1 plus secant of u in the denominator as you go through the list. Number 126, you have 1 over 1 plus or minus secant of u. So we will have to do a u substitution here. So we're going to let u be our x squared. du will be 2x dx. We have the x up in the numerator, so u substitution is good here. We'll have to divide over the 2, so I'll have 1 half, that went with my du, then 1 over 1 plus secant u. So using this formula here with the plus over the negative, we'll have to go u plus cotangent u minus cosecant u plus c, and then we bring back in the x squared for u, and we have it integrated. Example 2. We'll integrate 1 over x squared times the parentheses 2 minus 3x. So again, here, x squared is going to be your u's in the tables. a, b, and c are usually saved for your constants. So we're looking for something with a u squared times the binomial a plus or minus bu in the denominator. And at number 50, we have 1 over u squared times the binomial a plus bu times du. And here's our answer, so we just have to identify everybody here. So u is our x, du will be dx, just a straight substitution. Your a is going to be 2, your b is going to be negative 3 because we want this to be a plus. So then we can just go ahead and substitute it in, negative 1 over 2, or a which is 2, u which is x, plus b, which is negative 3 over 2 squared 4 times ln of your 2 minus 3x over x with your plus c. Example 3, all right, you can search all you want trying to find these trig functions here. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go ahead and do a substitution here. Since cosine is to an odd power, we're going to use our powers on sines and cosines rule here. So sine of 2x will be our u. Take cosine of 2x matched up with the dx. Don't forget to take the derivative of the inside. So that's going to be 2 times cosine of 2x dx. So again, we'll have to divide over the half. Divide the 2 over to a half du. Put that in front of our integral. And now we have sine squared, which is now u squared, over 3 minus u, all that being squared. So again, we're looking in to our table, looking for a plus or minus bu, binomial squared in the denominator, and also looking for a u squared in the numerator. And if we look at number 53, it's a perfect match. So again, we'll have to identify our a is going to be 3, your b is going to be a negative 1 because we need it to be a plus sign here. So now we can go ahead and make our substitution, 1 half, that's from the original integral here, times 1 over negative 1 cubed, parentheses, a which is 3, plus negative 1, or we'll say minus 1u, minus 3 squared over the 3 minus 1u, minus 2 times the 3, that's your a times the ln of 3 minus u in the absolute value bars plus c. So if we clean things up, we'll get a 9 up here in the numerator. Negative 2 times 3 is minus 6. We cleaned up the 1 half times the negative 1 raised to the third power, negative 1 half. Then we'll distribute the negative 1 half in. That gives me negative 3 halves. That'll give me plus... 1 half, and then let's put in sine of 2x for your u. Negative 1 half times this minus fraction, that's going to be a plus. We'll have 9 over 2 times 3 minus sine of 2x, but then we'll distribute the 2 so that 3 becomes a 6 minus 2 sine of 2x. 
negative one half times the negative six, that's going to make it a plus three. Natural log of three minus sine of two x in those absolute value bars plus c. Example four, we're going to integrate dx over the binomial x plus three times the square root of negative two plus three times x plus three. Notice that the binomials are the same. That's going to be your u. So our in derivative of u, the derivative of x plus three is dx. So we'll make our substitution. Now we're looking on our table for a u times the square root of a plus du. That's what we're looking for in the denominator. And that's at number 57, and 57 has a special case here. It's two possible answers depending on the A value. If A is positive, we're going to use this answer. If A is negative, we're going to use this answer. And since we declared A to be a negative 2 and our B is a 3, we're going to have to go with this form of the answer right here. So we have now 1 over the square root of negative negative 2. That makes this a positive, that's why there's the different form, times the inverse tangent of the square root of negative 2 plus 3u over negative times negative 2 plus the c. And then again, we'll put our x plus 3 back in for the u's, and we can simplify our answer to 2 over the square root of 2 times the inverse tangent of the square root of 3x plus 7 all over 2 plus 